Burner Boy out here getting accused. Have y'all seen him without a beard? I was utterly shocked. You know how you used to see them niggas back in the day? And he got so mad that people put up this this picture of him without a beard that he felt offended that somebody posted it because I was just like, we were shocked. This is an ugly ass man in real life. The beard gives his face symmetry. It makes his face look healthy. Without that beard, he looks like Seal has that skin here. He has that skin here. It's bad, y'all. It's real bad. And he had a nerd to yell at a blog for posting him like that. Like, he didn't upload the picture. So he's out here, and I guess he's got his, his own little victim, too. Um, and so she made a video. So he's being called out uh, by a young lady. She alleges she was in a relationship with him in the past, got pregnant by him, and suffered a miscarriage. When I was pregnant, his mother came and dismissed me. Sounds about African. Let's hear what she got to say. I was pregnant for Bonaboy. When I was pregnant, mm -hmm. the mother came and dismissed me. Oh, she sure did. Try. But I was disappointed. Uh huh. That a mother, that a, mother. a woman like mm -hmm. me, that knows what it is to be pregnant, yes. dismissed me. Yes. Even knowing that I was bearing his grandchild. Grandchild. When I was pregnant. When I was pregnant. I was depressed. I was angry. angry. I was in pain. Some emotional trauma. Mm. But another thing happened. Mm. I was attacked in oh. my house. So the attacks happened at where? Lakey phase one. Normally he do come at home. He come to the house. We spend time. When a boy do come to phase one to check up on you? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. We do spend time, you know. Play uh -huh. like love beds, young girls, young boys uh -huh. do. Uh -huh. So when I got pregnant, I told him he, he was answering to me. We were even planning on, okay, if you have the child, uh -huh. what are we going to do about it? Who will take care of the child? child. Why I focus on my career? Right. So we we're having that conversation. Then before you know it, he just stopped answering and was angry and started telling me that he was not responsible and he's not ready uh -huh. for the child okay then i was mad and angry then okay. he came out of social media okay. after that someone came to my house oh broke my door okay attacked my friend Attack. luckily for me that day i was not around right so i came home everywhere was deserted people were running my door was broken. broken. I was scared for my life. Scared. I started running from one friend's house to another. To another. I barely eat. Barely. I barely do things. I can't mm. even concentrate in my business. Mm. So out of those struggle, mm. I lost my child. After the attack, when I got home, one out called me and said he wants to speak with me. Yes. That where am I? That he wants to come there. Mm. I was scared. I couldn't even tell him where I am because I knew that he was the only person I had issue with at that time. And my yes. life was at risk. Yes. I didn't want to die. Did Bonaboy encourage you to leave the child or to abort the child? He started asking me, okay, how, how are you? How are you going to plan? How are we going to do it? Who will take care of the baby? He was actually Making responding, sense. Yes. yes. But after that day, the next day, he now got angry and started acting up and started blocking me and started warning me and started threatening me. Then after that day, let me see the chat. I was with the pregnancy, then I got attacked. Yes. One of the things I know that caused the miscarriage, mm -hmm. I feel that caused the miscarriage, <laughs> I didn't know, is me not having any anywhere to stay, running around, feeling sad. I wasn't feeling safe. I went to the police. But the police didn't do anything. About it. Not y'all saying it sound like a Nollywood movie skit. First of all, if you're not married, <laughs> an African mother gonna come and dismiss you, bitch. He has not presented you to our family. Bitch, you have got to go. So he told you he had no money. This is before he got rich. <laughs> and he can't, keep, he can't keep the baby. Just like you shouldn't be keeping that wig down there on your forehead like that. He can't keep the baby. Now, I was trying to figure out how was she abused. He just said he can't take care of no baby. And in every African culture, if you are not fucking married, your ass is carrying a basket baby. So do what you want a motherfucker do. They ain't got nothing to do with it, okay? It sounds like regret. It sounds like the regret because burn a boy on top right now, bitch. And if I was hot, if all we had to do was just rephrase this. I was, I was stupid. I should have kept the baby regardless 
of and not let them stress me out and not go from house to house. I should have told their mother to kiss my ass. Because then I would have one of the richest babies in the world. Moving on. Why don't sometimes Diddy is going to want to party and you got to tell him no. I'm reserving New Year's Eve to party with my Wano's in Houston, Texas. Get your glasses ready to bring in the new year with me at Bayou City Event Center December 31st. And after the show is the after party. Yeah. After the party is the uh-uh. We ain't doing none of that in Houston. Them numbers is too hot and too hot right now. I can't wait to see y'all in Houston. Let the countdown begin for a night of wine, gossip, and comedy. Tickets on sale right now via TashaKOnStage.com. Now!